I mean, we've had reviews saying that we were the worst band in the world, um, which I thought was brilliant, because um, I'd much prefer to see a band that's been billed as the worst band in the world than a band that's quite good. Never settle for the middle ground. We started. Um, well, it was me and uh, the guitarist Paul. I, I finished university and basically lost every single penny of my money, and had to come back with my tail between my legs to to to, to, to my mum to try and sort me out. So I ended up living in our guitarist Paul's loft in his bungalow. I don't know. Have you seen Shallow Grave? Um, it was kind of similar to that. Kingsley and Paul started the band because they were sick of seeing sort of like shitty middle of the road indie fucking bands that are out at the moment that are just saturating the pop charts and saturating music in general. There's an awful lot of bands like that I see that aren't really doing it because they maybe want to um, create music. It seems like they want to be famous and I don't think that's right. I think when, you know, I think bands should want to want to be in a band because they want to create amazing music and, and, and be entertaining to, to a crowd as opposed to get on Celebrity Big Brother and um, get off with some silly blonde cow from Essex, you know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I think, I think music is the most important thing in life, like I think that there's a song for every situation and there's a band for every situation and that music can sort of, music can sort of change how you feel about certain things and Music's a validation of, of your emotions. Like I think that if you feel in a certain way about something, there's always a song that you can sort of use as a soundtrack to how you're feeling right then. I'm never going to write a song that's going to involve having a great time and going to a disco and having, um, you know, a great, you know, just just having fun and stuff. I'm never going to write like a, a nice three-minute pop song. We're from quite a dark place. I mean, we're from up north, and the, the part of the north that we're from is is mainly chemical works. There's a steel works. There's a sort of very industrial background, and I think there's a very industrial sound to our music. I think you should be influenced by from the moment that you open your eyes in the morning to the moment that you shut them at night. So that could mean there could be some something horrific that you see on the TV or your football team lost and you just inadvertently get influenced by everything that goes on throughout your waking day. Yeah, our music's aggressive because of where we're from, yeah, because I think to grow up in the town that I grew up in, I mean, I was, I was always an outsider when I was younger. In Middlesbrough, if you walk out with maybe a bit of black eyeliner on and you're a boy or you're wearing tight trousers, you're instantly branded a freak. I was sat there one day just talking and I felt like I'd, I felt something sting me in the back and I thought I'd been stung by a wasp. And I turned round and I looked across the sort of green bit that we were in and there was some chav lads aiming an air rifle at me and I'd been shot in the back for the way I looked and I think that sort of driven me to sort of not accept that that's my position in life, to not ex accept the fact that just because people don't like me or like the way I dress or like the things I do, I have to sort of think, oh, well, I better not do them then. I want to do them more. And I think that comes across in the music in that, I mean, not everyone's going to relate to um, six minute noise solos or loads of distortion and feedback or coming on stage and just throwing everything you've got into it. But I, I, I don't really give a fuck about those people. They aren't the people I want to play for. I, I think that, that there's no one that's like socially, it, I don't want to, it's as difficult as, I, I'll go all Bono and I don't want to go like Bono, I don't want to go Chris Martin, I don't want to write shit on my hand and stuff. It's like, um, but I think that there needs to be a bit more honesty in, um, in, 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 in pop music at the moment. 
Um, no one seems to be writing about the state of the nation. I think people should just give a bit more of a shit, and they don't. So there you go. When I go on stage, it's like the, the, the initial reaction is, is, is complete horror and complete, <laughs> completely terrified. I remember our first gig, I was like, I was throwing up like, <laughs> like, a, like a child. When I play live, I don't really think about anything. I sort of, I'm just sort of in the moment, sort of my mind's a bit clear. I don't really have any particular thing on my mind. I'm just sort of getting into it, feeling the music, feeling the buzz off the crowd, eating up the sort of atmosphere and just sort of doing what I want to do. And I never really think about, you know, oh, I better turn to the left now because there's this bit of the song coming up, or I need to bang my head to this bit, or I need to be jumping up and down because this bit's a bit more exciting. I just see where the music sort of takes me, and if that takes me into a place that means I'm just stood staring, or I'm maybe running around. I, d I, d I don't know, I just, it's the same, I think, as when you go to a club when you're playing live, in a way, because when you're at a club, you're listening to the music, and you're feeling the beat, and you just sort of, don't really care that there's anyone else around you and you're sort of in your own space and I think it's similar to playing live I think live the excitement comes from playing your own music like it, it's sort of like hearing your favorite song when you're at a club is the sort of best time when you're at a club so imagine being on stage and playing all your favorite songs over and over again for and and having people relate to that it, it's so exciting that you can't help but get caught up in it and get involved with it and I think I mean, I've never gone out on stage with a preconceived idea of what I was going to do that night. I've never gone on stage and thought, right, third song in, I'm going to throw my guitar across the stage. I just see what happens. I just like to sort of go on there with a, a, an open mind to see what, see what comes up. If we can communicate what we're feeling and just put ourselves forward, maybe to the darker corners of ourselves, um, in as honest a way as possible, without any kind of restrictions or barriers, then maybe that would be coming close to what I hope people would take away from our live shows. I want people to see me on stage and not just think there's someone playing a song and going through the motions. I want them to see someone who gives so much of a fuck that I'm willing to injure myself or I'm willing to, you know, just make a fool out of myself. I'm not worried about what people are going to think of me because the music's given me some sort of empowering feeling where I don't care what people think of me anymore and I want them to see that and think I want that, I want that in my life, I want this band to give that to me. You only get to make your debut album once. We wanted to create something that was honest to ourselves and something that we would, we would be proud of and something that I would be happy that my mother could walk into um, a record shop and see it and, and be proud that that's her son's little plastic box sat in, a, sat in a shelf as opposed to sort of walking on by and going to the Daniel O'Donnell section. We can't go with the album and say to people we wrote these songs for these reasons. People are going to attach their own reasoning to the album behind it and whether people understand it or not is the daunting thing. Whether people understand that it's not all just doom and gloom and we're not just trying to depress people, we're actually trying to empower people. We want people to listen to the record and feel like they could you know, sort of, that they can do things. I mean, the album feels like a culmination of, um, first of all, like quite a lot of hard work and a culmination of every sort of influence, every waking day, everything that I've seen, everything that I've heard. It's, um, it's not supposed to be a political statement. And it's not supposed to be um, some sort of huge ego trip for ourselves and it's certainly not supposed to be some sort of advertising hoarding for the northeast of England. Um, we just wanted, I just wanted everything to come together all in one place really so perhaps so I could move on and you know, just have it as a, as a moment. This is where I'm at now um, and as to what happens after that I don't know.